A rematch in Derby City. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. Four months after beating Louisville in a spring match on penalty kicks, the Evansville men's soccer team was back at Lynn Stadium hoping to repeat that feat in their first exhibition of the preseason. However, the Cardinals are ranked sixth in the nation for a reason, and coming off Wednesday's exhibition upset win over number two Indiana, they come out strong against the Purple Aces, testing UE's defense and goalkeeper Frederick Reimer early and often. But each time, the Danish denier delivered, keeping UL off the scoreboard in the first half. The Aces had a few opportunities as well on offense. However, they too failed to register a tally. And Evansville went into the locker room deadlocked with UL nil-nil. It took us a little while to kind of get it up to like what a real match speed looks like. All right? And that's what we're talking about in training all the time. Right? To be able to train at that level all the time so when you get out here you understand it. Right? The first 10 or 15 minutes we were slow to react defensively in midfield when the ball shifted, guys sliding across and doing those things. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. All right, next half. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. With head coach Marshall Ray's halftime words still fresh in their mind, Ben Weber and company come out determined to snap the scoreless deadlock. However, the rough and tumble style of play led to the game's first tally as a penalty in the box on this corner kick sets it up. And Reimer just couldn't stop Kino Arayasuke's point-blank blast, 1-0 Louisville. He also couldn't stop leg cramps on this hot and humid afternoon in Louisville, and that would soon force him from the game. Fresh off the bench, Reimer's replacement Greg Niven gets greeted quickly by UL's Haji Abakadir, making it a 2-0 Louisville lead. Niven would bounce back to make some key second-half saves. Still, the Cardinals add one more late, and the Aces drop this exhibition match 3-0. Well, I mean, we got a chance to play everybody on a roster and, uh, against a pretty good team. There's a reason they're ranked number six in the nation. You know, they've got some good attacking options. They're solid defensively. they got one of the better midfielders in the country. Um, so to get some guys on the field that maybe uh, wouldn't necessarily play against them and do as well as we did, I think, for up until the PK call that uh, gave them the goal there, I think we played pretty well up to that point. And like I said, we gave the guys a lot of minutes. Defensively, it really stuck out, especially in goal. Freddie looked pretty good before he went out with that crowd. Yeah, we were solid. And we're dealing with some injuries. You know, Zach Glades didn't play a lot today. Eric McDougal, uh, Trevor, you know, so we're trying to save those guys a little bit. But Freddie was huge in the first half. Came off his line. Matias played really well for us as a freshman. This is a good place to play your first match against a team like that, and I think he showed well. Ryan Harris was a uh, you know a bright light for us up front. Uh, had a breakaway and almost got in and scored for us in the second half. So overall, it was a good preseason game. We accomplished the things we needed to accomplish, and you know playing against teams like this are going to help us play against teams in our conference. They're going to help us play against Butler and IU at home. No rest for the weary. Up next for the Aces is a mid-afternoon exhibition matchup with Bellarmine at 2:30. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Dan. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.